Good morning, happy Wednesday. I feel so much better. Actually, last night I started feeling 100% better. I, 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 so I think it was just my allergies were just acting up and I think I know why because today it's pouring down rain. Um, my, it seems like my body is very, like when it comes to my allergies, it is very sensitive to the different changes and weather, changes of humidity, changes of elevation, <laughs> anything like will make my sinuses go crazy and i didn't know it was supposed to rain today and so i feel like leading up to today my sinuses were just so out of whack and then all of a sudden today i'm perfect so another thing that affects my allergies is my cycle but i don't think i'm close to starting so that's another thing too that can always throw it kind of out of whack as well um, I am hungry this morning. I think I'm going to eat something before I run out to do my errands. I have to do my contacts. I have to go, so I have to pick those up. I have to go, pick, go to the UPS store, drop off a return, and then run to Walmart. Luckily, they're all kind of in, well, the contact place is not anywhere near anywhere, and it's actually in a hard spot to get to, but that's why I want to go there first. Hopefully, they're not very busy. I have to wait outside and call them, and then they bring them out. And but Walmart and um, the UPS store are not very far from each other, so to do that, and then I think I'm gonna go to grocery outlet. I have not been in a while. I have right at this point, I have six videos ready to film. Two of them I'm kind of iffy about, I don't know, they may be kind of boring, but they may be helpful to people. Um, and one of them I'm kind of bummed because it's been on my list for a while to make. And when I was thinking about doing these videos beginning in December when I started kind of plotting out my next year stuff and I think I told you guys I was starting to kind of do that and somebody else made a video very similar to what I was going to make and so I don't want to like make it look like I'm you know copying her video so I may I haven't watched it yet it's on my watch later queue um, so it's somebody I follow and I just don't want to yeah and I know she follows me too. So anyway, I may just watch her video and see if it's anything like I planned on talking about. And if it is, then I'm just going to scrap that one. Um, I have other ones that I'm working on, but I have six right now that are ready to film. Like I said, two of them are just kind of like, ugh, maybe they'll be boring, but I think they may be helpful to people. I may fine tune those two before I do the filming on those. But the other ones I'm very proud of, well, the research that I've done and the, um, mostly research in my brain and this is coming from doing keto and low carb over this last year and I think it'd be helpful to people who are not even doing only keto and low carb I mean these are just things that um, if somebody is just trying to change how they're eating in general I think it'd be really helpful to people um, doing that too so I want to get all those filmed I have one of them I'm still finishing writing down my thoughts and I have to type all of them still up but um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. My coffee bar is done. I have not made my coffee yet this morning. Um, oh, I meant to, I was going to ask you guys about this. So I, one of my videos, um, we'll talk more about this. It'll be the first video that's coming out next week um, in the series, and it's about the Sole water. But look at this, you guys. I've made this like three or four times. It's never stayed pink like this. Usually you, you just fill it up with like a quarter of the way with the salt and fill the rest up with water, let it sit. Usually overnight it turns clear. I mean, there's not a lot of residue left in there. I just don't understand. I mean, I've used pink Himalayan salt like I always do. I don't know if I should start over and make it again or, or what. I just, I don't understand that. I'm going to kind of look, smell it and see. I mean, it's... I mean, I guess it's okay. I should taste just a little bit. I don't know. Um, I want to get back into drinking this, though, because it, it really kind of kept me um, on track and all that and keeping electrolytes in check, especially since I plan on just diving in head first into into going back into eating keto low carb on a regular basis. I'm not going to, I'm even going to try to go through the entire month with no, like, cheat days, even planned ones, or even, even even any planned cheat meals the best I can, um, de depending on different circumstances, of course, um, because things always seem to come up. But anyway, um, 
So electrolytes are an important part of that, and that's what that salt water does. But again, I'm, one of my videos is going to go more into that. But I did get an email this morning. I admit I haven't read it yet. Let me open it. Um, from Perfect Keto, and they actually are launching some new electrolytes. So you guys know, you may know, if you're not new, <laughs> that I take their electrolyte pills um, when I'm on track and trying to stay on track. I take their pills, but I love the idea of a powdered electrolyte. I've actually, besides um, a Zip Fizz, I think a Zip Fizz is kind of like an electrolyte, and that's really the only powdered one I've ever owned oh, the Ultima ones, but I've never been a fan of the Ultima ones. Some of their flavors are good, but I'm not a huge fan of all their flavors. So they are launching their new daily electrolytes and they come in different flavors. So let me see what flavors they have. They have pink lemonade, lemon lime, watermelon, and black cherry. Oh my gosh. So the watermelon and black cherry sound amazing. Like that sounds like right up my alley. So they are ultra hydrating, keto friendly blend of powdered electrolytes. Um, they have a unique blend of potassium, sodium, magnesium, and chloride. Each flavor is formulated to maximize your body's absorp absorption and hydration. Um, they have vitamin D in there too. So each scoop also contains 125% of your daily recommended dose of vitamin D. So vitamin D is so important, you guys. Um, I know just because my husband, he has, you know, he he sees a mental health professional, and one of the things that they have him do is take vitamin D because they say how important vitamin D is for your mental health. And a lot of times in the winter months, a lot of people have to take. Should increase their vitamin D because it does help with um, your any kind of your mental stuff because you get vitamin D from the sun. So if you live in places, well, if you're lucky enough to live in places like California and Florida, you're probably going to get, you know, sun all the time. But here we have pretty much no sun during the winter months. So it's, that's why it's so important to take it in the winter time. So I always take it in the winter time, but it also helps with your, um, absorption of magnesium. So when I used to take, um, the calm stuff, that powdered magnesium, I always took vitamin D with it because it helps to absorb it. My cat is hungry. I'm going to have to feed her. Um, it's also good for your immune system and everything else too. So anyway, that is so exciting. So they're tubs. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have everything linked down below. It doesn't look like they're doing any kind of discount or anything. It's just launching the new product. So I will have everything down there, but I do have a discount just for my general discount. So I will have that down below in the description box and it comes out today, December 30th. Um, but you guys will be seeing this tomorrow. And they have another thing that they're launching, which I'm gonna read more about that because it sounds like something I could share in Friday's um, goal video because it's coming out on the first. So, yay. Okay, anyway, let's go make some coffee and let me show you my coffee bar. So here we go. It's really dark in this corner. That's the reason why I had to stop using it as a meal prep area, but that's what I used to use. This was for meal prep area. So excuse my, we're still under renovation. So if you guys see any, bare walls, tile boxes on the floor. <laughs> I think we're gonna be in constant renovation for a while. We need to, we had to stop for a while to save some money. So anyway, um, so yes, okay. So first off, we have my big coffee machine. This one, what is the brand of it? Hamilton Beach, I got it at Walmart. It has the, you know, single serve, plus you make a full pot, then my Nespresso and my um what do you call that my coffee frother so everything is plugged in over here so i used to have it you know like i said i would use it for my meal prep area and i would have all my appliances plugged into it but that works perfect you can't really see it very well and i have my little cups here that i got on my advent calendar so these are my favorite syrups at the moment I'm just like obsessing over the cinnamon dolce I'd never liked it before I didn't feel like but I am really liking it I will always have vanilla out here because vanilla is absolutely my favorite um, and then this is just a simple syrup I may mostly use that for um, iced coffee because I just use my pure sweetener for my um, hot coffee but the simple syrup is melts really good in iced coffee so I will always have my vanilla and my simple syrup. And then this will just this one will just change out depending on my mood of what I feel like having. I have my Nespresso pods here, which I need to stock up on. Coffee, ground coffee there. I have my little whisk. And then 
my pure, and then in this one I just have some of my favorite coffee cups. These are by no means my all of mine, as you will see. Uh, in this drawer, um, this is a sweetener that my son prefers. He doesn't like the other stuff. And then I just have my coffee filters in here. We use these powdered jellos. Um, I use the sugar-free one for um, like frappuccinos and stuff like that, but my son uses the other ones for his. And then I have this power creamer in here, which I don't use that often, um, but I just so I have it in there. We're gonna stick to the coffee area first. So again, I apologize, it's kind of dark. There's the rest of my coffee cups down there and down there. Plus I have a French press down there and I have my ice, my iced coffee maker. Then in here, so I have all of my Bones coffee, ridiculous amount of Bones coffee, and then I have my Thrive Market, and then other coffees are back there, the different flavored ones. Um, there's my espresso coffee, we use those, and then I this the syrups that I use for coffee, so I keep them here instead of in the other cabinet. So you have chocolate, the chocolate peppermint, and the Hershey's, and then I have my chocolate base, which is these Logitech's Ketones from Perfect Keto, and it has the coffee flavored one, so that's when I like to put in my coffee. And then all my syrups. You guys, this is ridiculous. I have a backup vanilla. I have two backups of the simple syrup, but this is crazy. And this is not even all of them. I took out some of my um, holiday ones, and I'm just gonna pack them up because I couldn't fit them all in here. And then the last cabinet is a tea which I have more syrups down there, but these are the syrups I use for my iced teas. So I'd like all the fruit flavors are in there. And then I also have a couple things of hot cocoa. So this is all tea back here. So I'll show you what I did to kind of make sure I go through it. And this is my loose leaf tea um, from Tea Me and then my tea maker. So that's what all that is down here is the loose leaf tea. So what I'm gonna do is pull up boxes of tea that I'm loving at the moment. So um, this is, these are the two newest ones. I, well, this is the newest one I picked up, but this one I absolutely love. I know this is a favorite, so this will be one that will always be in here. Um, this one I haven't tried yet. This is also a love and favorite. I don't have a Trader Joe's like right by me. I have to drive about an hour and a half to get to one, but I have great subscribers that send them to me <laughs> so because they know that I absolutely love this tea. So I always had this one in here too because that is one of my favorites right there. This one is a new favorite. I actually discovered it this year. It's just a black tea, um, but it is really good. Um, and just had a little bit of a jasmine in there. It, it's so good. And these are always favorites. So mango, passion fruit, and a raspberry um, pomegranate is one of my absolute favorites. And here's another one from Trader Joe's. This one's not open yet. I just went through one. Um, so this is one that my, I think Krista sent that one to me. And these are my little tea me. You can use these for loose leaf tea. Also, you just put the tea in there and you put this in your cup and let it infuse. So, but this one's really good if you see this one at Trader Joe's, if they still have it. So that's my tea. Well, there you go. There is my new coffee bar. I absolutely love it. I think it turned out super cute. And I love having my coffee all in one spot and I can have all my stuff and I just think it looks really pretty. I'm gonna have some collagen this morning in my coffee and I am going to actually have, I want a mocha coffee today. So I'm gonna use my chocolate Kitu um, collagen from Preferred Elements. I'm gonna have that one. I really want a mocha today. So we're gonna make a coffee and I'm gonna maybe finish up a little bit of work while I'm watching YouTube, and then I should be ready to, since I get done drinking this, I will head out and do my errands. So I did the Kitu Collagen and Chocolate. I did the Milkadamia Barista Blend, and look at that. It tastes amazing. This collagen is so, so good. It has such a good flavor. It also has MCT powder in it, I have, a, I have a discount code, I'm pretty sure for them. I'll put it down in the description box. I think it's always down there actually. Okay, I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go finish some work. When I'm done with my coffee, I'm gonna start running my errands. Hello, it's 10.45. I am done with my errands, I'm heading home. The rain has been kind of just sprinkling, which is nice. I actually went to Big Lots instead of Walmart. 
I figured Walmart is going to be super busy and so I want to wait until Friday to go there when I go do grocery shopping and I'll probably go first thing Friday morning. Um, so I went to Big Lots because they have the bins, which are these big, huge, like 18 gallon bins for $4.95, which is, I know the same price, if not a little bit cheaper than Walmart. But I want to tell you guys, at um, Big Lots, they have some of the cutest shirts there sometimes. They're t-shirts. I've gotten, I got my coffee, coffee, coffee one, which is, I think the one I'm wearing, yes. You guys can't really see it, but it says that coffee like three times down. I think I showed it to you guys. I got that one. I got the one with like a heart with the flag in it. Um, what else have I, and then I got a couple of my Christmas shirts here <clears throat> and they had them all on sale. So I picked up a couple more. Um, so this one says, I'm gonna show them to you now cause I'll forget when I get home. They're $8 and these are 25% off, but they have them all the time and they're super cute. So this one says, to say, live with a grateful heart. And it's typically, like I get extra large, which is what my size is normally. Actually, I was down to a large, but let's just be honest. We've gone up to an extra large now. Um, so it's just normal sizes. They're all different brands. Sometimes they have some things that are from the loft also. And this one just says choose happy. So super cute. Um, so I picked those up. I usually pick up one or two every time I go. I have a pretty good um, t-shirt collection now. I am a starving. So when I get home, I'm gonna make, and I've just been wanting like egg salad, and I was gonna do it before I left, but I thought I'm just gonna go get it done now, and then I'm gonna start typing up all my video things. I need to go by the liquor store too for, I thought I'd make margaritas on New Year's Eve, so I might, and it's just right there. Yeah, I might as well go in there and pick those up now because it's just, I mean, it's literally like across the parking lot. So I think I will go grab that. And then I'm gonna go home and make an egg salad wrap. I was gonna use one of the smart buns, but I forgot to take one out to thaw out and I could just toast it, but I think I'm gonna do a wrap. So I'm gonna do an egg salad wrap with some lettuce and then I think I'm gonna do some bell peppers and cream cheese. I've been wanting that like really bad too. So I will show you my lunch when I have it. And dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw together the low carb taco casserole. That just sounds really good. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that tonight. I already have the taco meat done because I made taco casserole for the family um, night before last. So I just made some extra taco meat. So I think I'll do that for my dinner tonight. They're having baked ziti, which sounds really good, but I don't want a lot of pasta or anything. I'm, I'm trying to be good going into the new year. I know New Year's Eve, um, I guess I'm gonna have some drinks and stuff. So I'm not expecting to stay on plan New Year's Eve, but up until that point, I'm trying, starting to, and then January 1st, we are back on it, you guys. I have a whole plan that I will be talking to you guys about. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go hit the liquor store. No, I'm gonna go buy. I'm not gonna, isn't that mean like you're gonna go like rob them or something? I'm gonna go to the liquor store and then I am going to head home and eat some lunch. Lunch. So we have um, egg salad that I meal prepped on Monday on one of these low carb wraps. These are four net carbs. Then I have some mini peppers with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. And then on my wrap, I also have some of these microgreens. I love these. I get them at Safeway. They're kind of expensive, but they are really nice. I've always loved sprouts and that kind of remind me, reminds me of sprouts. So these are arugula, broccoli, amaranth, beet tops, parsley, radish, and kale. So I'm editing right now, and then I'm also working on, where's it at? So I'm working, this is where I'm typing up. This is what I use. I use Google Docs to type up my um, text and stuff when I'm doing my, this is what I use for my, um, what do you call it? My description boxes for my videos. So I have my what I ate, my grocery haul. I have all kinds of meal prep, those kind of things. But I'm also using it for my videos, the ones that I wanna film. So there's a little behind the scenes on that. Yes, this is our beautiful day today. Isn't it beautiful? Go up. The dogs don't want to go out, but yep, this is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, isn't it? The rain is coming down. So I think I'm going to get one more. It took me like, oh, 45 minutes. So I started at 1230 and it's taken me 45 minutes to write up one of the videos. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the other video and then I may stay, start packing up some things in here. 
Um, yeah. Because I really want to film all this stuff. So I have so much. <laughs> this one is so much. Oh my goodness. But I'm going to have a lot of fun filming them because it's stuff that I kind of wish I had known and things that I wish had been out there all in one area um, when I started keto. Of course, you can go out there on the internet, but I'm putting my own personal thoughts into these videos, which is again, what I wish I would have had. It's easy to go on the internet and research some stuff, but if you don't have people's kind of thoughts on it and what they think about it and people that you can ask about if they've tried these certain things, then I think that makes a huge difference. So that's why I'm doing these videos. For dinner, I just threw together some leftover stuff. So I had some leftover taco meat. I have that in there with a little bit of rice cauliflower, some lettuce, some pepper jack cheese, pico de gallo, some sour cream, and some guacamole. And this will be tonight's dinner. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my goals video. And I will be announcing the giveaway winner. So you still have time to go enter that giveaway. I will be picking the winners tonight. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.